on the watch. Seen a couple of my homies stop on the block. With a... It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. In this game, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder against the San Antonio Spurs at AT&T Center. Well, for San Antonio, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And so for Kevin Durant, uh, so many years in Oklahoma City, and I mean, this has been uh, his franchise uh, since he's come into the league uh, in Seattle and OKC. Free agency at the end of the season. Uh, Shaq, if you're in his shoes, what sort of things are you considering right now? Well, he's the biggest player to hit unrestricted free agency since LeBron's decision. So uh, my question to him is when, where, and who? Yeah, well, it's a tough decision because everyone wants him. Who doesn't want that guy? But, you know, he's going to look at how I, he looks like a loyal guy and they have put a lot and invested a lot of him, in him in Oklahoma City. So, you know, I, my odds are that they have the first, first dibs at him. That does it for us. Kevin Harlan with the call, and we'll see you later. UK Sports brings you the NBA on a Friday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony with Doris Burke on our sideline. Western Conference battles, always fun. This time, it's the San Antonio Spurs intent on protecting home court. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. So the Thunder Five right now, the rugged duo of Ibaka and Adams in the middle. Russell Westbrook out there with Roberson. And it's Durant in at the three spot. Well, you look back on the Thunder last season, and the theme was injuries. Too many injuries to the bulk of their core. And, you know, the big three, Durant, Westbrook, and Ibaka, all missed significant time. Only Westbrook of those three was able to finish the season. And so it's the Thunder getting on the board first. Outside Aldridge. There's the three. And Roberson pulls it down. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. It's a three-point game. Durant for three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Not a fast start here for the Spurs. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Green against Adams. Here's Ibaka. It's hauled in by Tony Parker. Oklahoma City on D. The drive by Green. Parker with it. It's Ibaka picking him up. With the floater, the shot is off. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. He dishes it to Robertson. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense could do. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Now, a short time ago, I had a chance to catch up with Greg Popovich. He told me one of the more troubling tasks his team must do is to figure out how to slow down Russell Westbrook. He said that between his explosiveness and ability to change direction, they'll have to have all five guys keeping an eye on Westbrook whenever he's on the perimeter. Thanks, Doris. Here's Leonard. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. Durant. Second shot opportunity. And the layup good by Ibaka. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Guys, Serge Ibaka's production was just a little off last season. We're not talking 
you know, big number changes. We're talking small dips in a number of categories. Well, one category where he did really fall off, though, Kevin, was field goal percentage. A career 53% shooter, he dropped down to 47. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And, and getting back to Ibaka, everything changed for him the minute Kevin Durant was lost last season. I mean, defenses could focus on him, and he was the Thunder's only front court scoring threat. And, and as much as he's improved on offense, he still has neither the flexibility nor skill set to be a guy that can be considered a first or second option offensively. And the dunk by Aldridge. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. You know, talking about Ibaka, last season was good for his growth. I mean, he got a taste of what it's like to be the first or second scoring option rather than an afterthought. Now it's up to him to take that experience and convert it into improvement. Oklahoma City has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Westbrook passes to Durant. San Antonio with the rebound. Parker kicks to Leonard. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Shot's good. Durant's got five. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. You look at Kevin Durant, and he does have a bit of an unusual body type. Steel is fairly thin, even after eight years in the league. Yet, up until last season, he'd been one of the more durable players in the league. Kind of like Reggie Miller in that regard. So, San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Then, for the Thunder, Ennis Canner's checked in for Steven Adams. Dion Waiters comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Foy in for Andre Robertson. There's a minute 40 left here in the first quarter. And he gets the bucket. Talking about Durant's physical makeup, some scouts were actually worried about his athleticism when he declared for the draft after just one year at Texas. At the, at the NBA Combine, Greg, you, you're talking about this, he posted some of the worst numbers of all the top prospects. Yeah, he, he did, but, but I tell you what, he did blow people away with his length. 6'10", with a 7-foot, 5-inch arm span. I mean, that makes up for a whole lot in this league. And as we've seen throughout his Hall of Fame career, I think it's worked out pretty nice. I think it has, too. It's stolen by Martin. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. From deep. And Cantor pulls it down. The Thunder have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Westbrook, West with the block. Mills with it. Down low. Here's Anderson. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. It's stolen by Martin. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Anderson outside. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. Mill can't get it to go. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. It's the Spurs. They're up by two. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second.